Hey there folks, Santee at the Arizona Ghost Raiders here. We got some mail. Santee, can you talk about the 1873 Springfield rifle? William Labreck. Trapdoor Springfield rifle. Yeah. We can do that. Not many items remind me of the American Indian Wars more than the iconic Springfield trapdoor rifle. After the Civil War, the metallic cartridge became the focus of gun manufacturers. However, the United States military was not in a financial position to outfit its soldiers with brand new cartridge firearms when they had all this surplus. Therefore, they enlisted their armorer, Erskine S. Allen, to convert muzzle-loading rifles to breech loaders. Allen came up with a method wherein you have access to the cartridge by flipping up a door near the hammer of the gun, allowing for simple extraction and reloading. This only cost them $5 per conversion, which made the government deliriously happy. By 1866, it was adopted by the U.S. military. Originally chambered in 58 caliber, the gun went through several variations before eventually landing on the one we all know and love. The model of 1873 4570 Government Trapdoor Springfield Rifle and Carbine were field tested and sent out to our soldiers out in the wild frontier. With the exception of the bayonet, this model was no longer using surplus parts. Originally, the infantry carried a 32 and 5 8 inch barrel, whereas the cavalry had the 22 carbine model. Also, some 1866 models ended up in the surplus market for civilians, chambered in 5070 up until the 1880s. So you see these a lot in native hands during the uh, uh, Indian War, surprisingly. And uh, you will see them, especially in the records of guns being captured, these things get captured a lot. These things and muzzle loaders probably make up about 75% uh, of all of the guns the natives were using all the way through the Indian Wars. So yes, there were repeating rifles that had a higher rate of fire at the time, so why didn't the military adopt those? General Terry, involved with the testing, felt that the single shot was more reliable and an experienced shooter could get off 15 rounds a minute. Soldiers in forts across the west were carrying the Springfields, but we probably recognize it most from the Battle of Little Bighorn in 1876. George Armstrong Custer and the 7th Cavalry met defeat in South Dakota. Yes, his men were armed with trapdoors, but given the superior numbers of the enemy, it may not have mattered if they had a Sherman tank. Well, maybe that would have. This is stupid. Originally, the Army issued copper cartridges for the trapdoor. These had problems with splitting and separating, causing the military to provide soldiers with a shell extractor. I'm sure that made the soldiers feel a whole lot better to know they could wrestle with getting their jam cleared in the heat of battle. Yes, that was sarcasm. In fact, Captain Thomas French was clearing jams for his men at the Battle of Little Bighorn. Jam tomorrow. Jam yesterday but never jam today. Huh. Eventually the military replaces the copper with brass. Huh, a little late, don't you think? Towards the end of the century, the 1873 models were being replaced by the 1892 bolt actions, also known as the Krag Jorgensen rifle. This Norwegian design was a superior mechanism and even held five rounds. Although some trapdoors saw action during the Spanish-American War, their rate of fire was outclassed by the enemy's bolt-action Mausers. After that, many rifles could be found on the surplus market. Sears and Roebuck sold cut-down models in 1903 for just under $4. It should be noted that this year marks the 150th anniversary of the Model 1873. Today, the Springfield trapdoor can be found in the replica market and originals are also around. The one I've been showing in this video was provided by a friend who was an Indian Wars reenactor. 
In a future video, we're going to shoot it and some other historic weapons. Oh boy. Well, folks, that's it for another episode. Thanks for watching. And as always, please like, share, and subscribe. And we'll see you on down the trail. Thank you.